All right, guys, so what are we looking at today? We are going to be building a Faraday box using items I had laying around the house. And does everyone need a Faraday box? Well, it can't hurt, and it could potentially protect your electronic devices from an EMP attack. Is it likely you're going to undergo an EMP attack? Very unlikely. Still, why not build one? This way, I decided... I can always keep some of my most emergency communications inside this box. So we're going to be going through the process and I'm going to be taking pictures along the way, sharing some video. This was just some HVAC foil tape I had laying around. This is some copper tape I had laying around and this actually allows you to do some soldering with it. So this is a really great for working with electronics and things like that. Uh, over here I had some aluminum foil, so I wanted to do a video showing you how you can make your own EMP Faraday box using household items. This here is an important part, of course it is the box, the frame, dirt cheap because I already had it, and of course importantly is this lid that fits over it snugly, and we're going to be wrapping the inside and ensure that there is no gap there that's one thing that's really important you also want to leave some separation between the conductive material and the items so you may want to put something down as a bottom layer to separate that the larger the box you have the more protection you will have and of course the more conducive material you use say you want to use a copper tape or say you use thick copper plates that of course would protect more than this aluminum foil but it's certainly better than nothing and maybe we'll do some testing afterwards to check on the blocking effects of our homemade EMP box of course here's a radio here that's just one of my radios I'll be showing other items that I'm going to be keeping it including such as a solar charger so we're going to go through this process we're going to turn this into a dirt cheap what you have around the house EMP slash Faraday box so we're going to go through that these are the items we're using to create it and I will be sharing more on this as time goes on and Today I will finish it up and I'll be sharing more video of the process and maybe some testing afterwards. So make sure to like, share, subscribe for this series and I will be back later with more on Linux, open source, and how to protect your privacy.